Officials of Hindustan Aeronautics have briefed Indonesian officials on India's Tejas fighter jet program and the whole product portfolio including light combat helicopter. The Indonesian Air Force operates 200 units of aging Hawk 209 light attack aircraft and the chief of Indonesian Air Force had said in 2018 that the Hawk 209 aircraft assigned to the 12th squadron will eventually be replaced with a 4.5 generation fighter jet. The Indian Navy plans to procure two initial prototypes of Glidefire SSMs, and a total of 115 Glidefire SSMs, for which the government will sanction the program under Make 2 category, where no government funding will be provided for prototype development purposes. The Glidefire SSM will be a lightweight modular and cost-effective missile that can be launched from a modular scalable launcher from Indian Navy ships, including the existing Universal Vertical Launcher, to undertake precise engagement of enemy ships and land targets at 180 km range. The missile would use hybrid propulsion to achieve a maximum speed of Mach 2.9 in the terminal phase and will have at least 50% indigenization content. The DRDO has fast-tracked the development of the anti-tank guided missile vehicle program that is based on the 8x8 wheeled armored platform and the rollout of the first prototype will take place by mid-2023. The main armament of the anti-tank guided missile vehicle will be NARG anti-tank missile launcher that features high-end optics and has six missiles ready to launch and can carry four more in storage. It will also be fitted with smoke grenade launchers for self-defense and armor to protect the crew. A top defense ministry official has said that the 1,500 km range Brahmos 2 hypersonic missile will enter the prototype stage in the next three years and will have a speed of Mach 8. The former CEO of the Brahmos Aerospace had said in 2020 that the Brahmos 2 will be based on the indigenous scramjet propulsion system developed by DRDO once it is ready to be incorporated into the Brahmos 2 airframe. The DRDO's indigenous scramjet propulsion system had attained a speed of Mach 6 for 23 seconds during the last test of the hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle. Private sector firm Icomtel Limited has emerged as the lowest bidder for the DRDO's very short-range air defense program that will get the technology from the DRDO for manufacturing the initial prototypes for testing phase and will later manufacture the production variant for the Indian Army. It will have a range of 9 kilometers and will come in both single-tube man pads version and multi-tube vehicle mounted versions with an assist radar system. The Defence Acquisition Council has approved the procurement of military equipment worth 28,732 crore rupees, that includes swarm drones for the army with minimum of 50% indigenous content, bulletproof jackets with BIS-6 level protection, and 4.2 lakh close-quarter battle carbines of 5.56 by 45 mm. Officials have said that Adani Defence has tied up with Israeli firm IWI, while Kalyani Group has tied up with Thales Group, and both these firms are likely to be among the major bidders for the carbine contract, but competition could also come from M72 Carbine of SSS Defence, and public sector units like Bharat Electronics Limited and Advanced Weapons and Equipment India Limited. The ministry has also given approvals to procure 75 km range Pinaki guided extended range rocket ammunition worth 8,599 crore rupees.